Hello, Calvin Harris. Hello there. Good to see you. I think it was like a year ago when we last spoke. We should make this like an annual thing, actually. It wasn't. It was much sooner than that, actually. I think. Was it? Uh, it was about six months ago. I was in the studio here. Were we? What, what were we doing? Um, oh, no, yeah. Oh, the studio at Radio 1. I thought yeah, yeah, you, yeah. I thought you were winding me up. No, no, I don't wind people up. No, I, 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 we did talk a year ago as well, the last one, okay. Big Weekend. But yeah, I saw you sooner than a year ago. I forget, I forget these things. I apologise, Calvin. Uh, so you're headlining tonight. Welcome to Red One's Big Weekend, first of all. Thank you. Um, so you're headlining the Friday night for us. What sort of set can we expect from you? And do you have any special guests with you appearing on your set? No special guests. Many special surprises, though. Oh, like what? Can you tease us? No, because they're surprises, mate. Oh, yeah. I can't tell you if, if it's a surprise, it'll ruin the surprise. We'll completely ruin it. Uh-huh. All right, are you going to surprise us with singing on one of your own records? Because I, I, I hear that you said you were, you're not going to sing any, any more of your own tracks, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you've answered your, your own question. Yeah, though. but I just thought you said it's a surprise. So you <laughs> thought, I, whip the microphone out, sing as a little number. No, definitely not. There's no chance of that ever happening, ever again, ever. Okay. We'll leave the surprises there then. Um, so, yeah, obviously playing all your own tracks. What else for you in your sets that you're playing in the clubs at the moment is big for you? Like, who's, whose tracks are you playing the most? What is the sort of top three tracks that are in your sets that are smashing it for you? Uh, I mean, at the moment, I really like fire beats. They're kind of like, they, they can go either way with yeah. people because their stuff is very intense. But um, I love it. I like just like ridiculously simple but effective kind of drops. Yeah. I'll play a lot of that stuff. I'm going to play a few of them tonight and see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, what else? I mean, I mean, there's just there's. I mean, there's Nicky Romero still doing amazing. Uh, and then um, who else do I play a lot of? I don't know really. But everything. More surprises. So it's full of your, your, <laughs> your own track surprises and fire beats. That's going to your set tonight. It's pretty good, right? It sounds good on paper. So, have you been to Derry, London, Derry before? Do you, do you play in Northern Ireland much? I've been here. I've been here about, uh, I want to say, uh, two years ago. I played a club called Red Rooms. It was great. So, we're expecting a big one tonight. Literally, I did the first slot, which usually you'd think, oh, I'll play a bit of a warm-up, you know, play some tunes just to ease them in. But they were they ran in, they were ready, so you just of went course, straight in. Of so. course. I think it's going to be a good one, you know. People here are, are, are up for a party. So let's just quickly talk about your residency in Las Vegas. You're there like a gazillion times this year, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been there um, because I'm I'm in Europe for two months this summer. I've been doing every week for, like, for before I can remember. I've, I've been there a lot, and I'm doing every week in June as well. What's what's so good about Las Vegas? Because you hear so so many people talking about dance music in Las Vegas is blowing up right now. And you know, back in the days when Oki uh, started his residency there, since then, like everyone's over there now. So what is it that's so special about Las Vegas now? Well, it's gone from, as you said, Paul Oakenfold having the only dance music residency in, in Vegas to there being, like, you're spoilt for choice. Like, any night of the week, you can have Avicii in one one hotel, Tiesto in the other, Stevie Oki down the road, you know, all at the same time, all in different clubs. Um, so it's really just gone from, from the smallest thing to the biggest thing. You can't escape it. I love the idea of you and Avicii and Tiesto sort of being next door in rooms in the same hotel to each other, telling each other to keep it down. It's quite, yeah, yeah. It's quite amusing. It happens a lot. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it down, Avicii. Uh, okay, so we'll go from Las Vegas to Ibiza. You're in Ibiza a lot this year? Yeah, um, every week in July and August, I'm in Ibiza. Uh, every Thursday, Amnesia, Cream Amnesia. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, everywhere. Uh, well, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> and then uh, Mallorca as well, BCM in Mallorca every Wednesday. Oh, let's not start talking about Gordon. Uh, <laughs> he, he runs BCM, by the way. Um, so. I'm going to say congratulations on your album 18 months. What is the record that you hit? Eight eight top tens in that same album, was it? Uh, yeah, top fives now. Top fives. Why not? Sorry, got, Why my not? Fa- got my facts wrong. So when when are you heading back in the studio? When can we expect your next album? Are you working on it already? Album, I don't know. Single. I'm doing something with the Lesso, um, which hopefully I'll be out in a couple of months. That's about it, really. Because the, the 18 months one, I sort of got the impression that you started making a few club tracks and then you've made more, then you made a few more, then you thought, well, I'll put it into an album then. Yeah, it was like, that. I'd, I'd released maybe four singles and then I thought it would be nice to make the effort and try and finish a few off without, because I was just making them, then releasing them, then I've, I've got nothing, then I made another one, then I released it. So I just tried a little bit, I, I just worked a little bit harder to complete an album, a, a few tracks without releasing them one after the other, and yeah. then that became an album. 
and a great album it is as well, um, which leads me straight on to Ivan Novello. I've said that right, okay? Is that right? Yeah. Ivan Novello? Good, because yeah, yeah. I said it on air last week and said Eva Novello, which is oh, right, wrong. Nice. Yeah, that is wrong. That's wrong, isn't it, Calvin? Is Ivan like the name, like Ivan the Angel? Yeah, I'll, remember, I'll use that for the future to, to remind me not to say it wrong. So uh, congratulations on your Ivan Novello Award for songwriting. Thanks. How did that feel? Felt pretty amazing. And will that change your approach to the next song you, you write? Because surely it's going to be like, no. right, I've, I've won this amazing award, like I'm going to have to be really careful now and, and sort of keep up the standard, no? Not just do what you do? Not at all, not at all. I mean, if what I was doing before won me that award, then I'll just carry on and try to do what I did before, which yeah. is just mess a bit. Ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could mess around about like you. Okay, Calvin, uh, enjoy the big weekend and thanks for talking to me yet again. Thank you very much.